All right, guys, it is uh, one o'clock here in Texas, uh, 12 o'clock mountain time. And if you're looking for the web uh, webinar on podcasting, you are in uh, in the right space, on the right space, I guess, either way. So uh, we're going to get started here in just a second. We want to give just a couple of minutes for everybody to get on and uh, make sure you have something to take notes with. And we're getting ready to get started. It looks like we have about eight docs on here right now. And there's probably going to be a ton more on the replay. Yep. If anyone I'm wants showing, to. Yeah, I'm showing 10 now. So nice. Yeah. Perfect. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Yeah. All right. I'm good. Well, my name's Billy Sticker, and I'm host of the Cairo Candy Podcast, uh, the podcast of sweet chiropractic success. And we're going to hear from uh, Dr. Ed Osborne here in just a second. But the purpose of this webinar is simply to share with you how other chiropractors are using podcasting to attract new patients, to educate patients, to reactivate existing patients, and just overall help grow your practice. You know, because it, it's it's not a secret that an educated patient is going to be a better patient. They're going to refer more. They're going to stick longer. They're just going to be more compliant and more receptive to everything that you talk about. But it's hard to sometimes educate these patients as well as you want to in the three to five minutes you're spending with them. So this is just another way to be able to, uh, to really, educate these patients and well i'm gonna let dr ed talk about some of this a little bit more uh here in just a second but i'm going to share with you some of the benefits that podcasting how it's helped me back in 2008 i actually started a podcast for uh, my business which was chiropractic marketing university and it really helped me out to help get me some notoriety in the industry i had an I uh, wrote a book on marketing for chiropractors, was published in Chiropractic Economics. Uh, it just really got my name out there. I got started getting consulting uh, offers from other con uh, chiropractors. And all of this came from me having a podcast. And I quit doing it. And this was years ago, back in 08. It was seven years ago. <laughs> and if you listen to the last, uh, my last episode, uh, Dr. Ed was on there. And that's one of the things we talked about is, man, where would I be now if I just would have stuck with it? But relaunched it, renamed it, started uh, back here, I guess, in the beginning of May. And it's just, it's an unbelievable tool to use for branding, uh, for getting your message out there. I'm in, last I looked, 25 or 26 different countries worldwide. Uh, and it's just fantastic. But that's what it can do, you know, globally. But I'm going to pass pass the mic over to Dr. Ed. He's going to talk about what it can do for you locally in your market. Beautiful. Yeah, thank you. So um, I'm going to actually head right to a screen share. Uh, a lot of people, if, if they've been to a webinar that I'm uh, I'm teaching or done any any work with me in the past, they know that I don't like to waste time. So I want to go right to the goods. And uh, I know Billy appreciates that too. So let's see here, screen share, there we go. All right, how's that look, Billy? Good. Awesome, okay, everyone, so TCP podcast training. You know, that's, that's basically a course that I created after I created a podcast 12 months ago, and the podcast that I created was um, uh, The Chiropractic Philanthropist. And when I created it originally, I only had the, you know, the idea of talking to my colleagues, my friends, you know, the 15 people that I knew in my, in my circle of influence, and hopefully some people would listen. And it's grown from that. You know, this, this week we'll hit over 200,000 downloads in just this 12 months that it's been out. And it's just a really powerful way. Podcasting is such a powerful way to connect with not just your ideal patient, but you know, if you want to have a bigger effect worldwide, 
And I think today what we're really going to focus on, Billy and I, is, is explaining how you can use podcasting to attract new people locally in your practice, educate existing patients, which we all struggle with, and then also this is the biggest wow for doctors is reactivate patients. And I'm going to show you two or three case studies today too of doctors and what they've done with their podcasts. Um, if we look here, the, one of the biggest questions I get, and I'm sure Billy gets this all the time too, is what is a podcast? Like, what is it? <laughs> like, I hear this all the time. So if you see here that my podcast is basically like it's an audio file. It's an audio file that you put your artwork on, you name it, um, and it's basically like, yeah, 30, 60 minutes of, of audio. Now, I mean, some people will make them like 10 minutes or something like that. The what I do is I then take that audio file that I create. So how, how difficult, Doc, is it for you to sit down for 10 minutes and record some audio, some educational material? Then you load that up to Libsyn, which is basically a podcast host. It's like an offsite host that just holds your, your video for you or your audio. Then from there, Libsyn, actually it puts out, it's called a feed, and it goes to SoundCloud, Stitcher, and iTunes once you've submitted it one time there. And so it, we show you actually how to do this very simply, step-by-step, step, very easily. And then from there, you can share it. This is how you can market and share because you can actually text message your podcast. You can put it up on Facebook, you could do it through Vimeo, so you can use it through YouTube, you could email it to patients, put it on your website. I mean, there's virtually no angle that you can't uh, market a podcast and audio. And then when people click on that, it's not like they're seeing an image, reading your blog. What they're doing is they're hearing your voice. And it's a really intimate connection. I can't tell you how many times I get on the phone with doctors who have been listening to my podcast and that we feel, or he, they feel like they know me just simply because they've been listening to my podcast. And that's the real connection, the real wow factor that we see with podcasting these days. So I used to think, you know, two or three years ago when I saw someone listening, you know, you get on the bus or you get on the subway when I was in chiropractic college and you'd see someone listening to their uh, iPod back then, right? And you'd, I'd always wonder, I'd be like, I wonder what, they're, what music they're listening to. Now I wonder what podcast are they listening to? You know, one in four people are, are subscribed or are listening to podcasts these days. There's over 550 million active subscribers. These are people who use iTunes to listen to podcasts on a monthly basis. And iTunes is a completely free platform. So is Stitcher Radio, completely free platform that you can put your podcast up on. It's it's crazy to think that that, you know, 10 years ago, it would be like if you didn't have a website or you didn't consider putting a website up. In the next 6 to 12 months, it's going to be the same way for podcasting. And what I'm seeing here too is docs are starting to now brand themselves locally. So they're not just going out and, and are trying to, to attract an audience um, like it's global, but they're like local to, you know, Tulsa, to, to um, you know, Memphis. Like, so they're making it very local, very niched, and it's brilliant because that's the way that you harness the search engine optimization and you actually start funneling people into listening to your podcast and into your office. So here's what you're going to learn today. So Billy and I, we're basically going to teach you how to attract new patients using podcasts, how you can educate your existing patients, how you can build your authority. Because, you know, think about me, for example. Um, 12 months ago, nobody in chiropractic profession even knew who I was, except maybe against a couple of people here in Alberta. Um, and now, you know, I'll next in two weeks, not even two weeks, I'll be speaking at super conference in Florida. I'll be at, you know, I've been invited to speak at uh, the wave next year in, uh, in California, um, prosperity leadership, uh, in Toronto in November. So it builds authority and expertise. So this is something that I think that all chiropractors should really be working on uh, in their local community. And we're going to talk about how you can do that too. And then of course, the biggest the biggest thing I see here is reactivating patients. God, I can't even tell you how many inactive files I have sitting in my garage from the last 13 years. And I'm blowing the dust. You know, just you got to blow the dust off them and you got to send these people, these people who were already built a connection with you and send them your podcast and see what happens. That audio file. So podcasting basically on iTunes, you'll see when 
when you actually launch your podcast, you have this amazing artwork. And I'm going to tell you one thing, and this is that iTunes has what's called new and noteworthy. Billy, you you know you were new and no, new and noteworthy, right? Yes, I had my mic muted. Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. And yes. Yeah. So I mean, was what, that that did something for your downloads for your exposure? Wouldn't you agree? Oh, absolutely. Because I think you know I've been a fan of audios for years. I've got, I, it kind of upset me years ago whenever they did away with cassette decks in cars because I have thousands of dollars invested in these audio programs. So I was always listening to stuff. And I think what happens is when, once people discover podcasting as a listening platform, then they, they get in there and they search just like it's Google or whatever, you know, they, they go into, into the, uh, podcast app, whichever one they're using, and they type in keywords uh, is one of the ways. And so, but that's another way that they would go to find stuff. They would click on whatever topic and then new and noteworthy would pop up and they would check out these, you know, they would check out the shows, but something else is huge is your artwork has to be eye catching, yeah. you know, because you want it to be attractive for somebody to want to click on it. You want it to stand out amongst everybody else in new and noteworthy. No, absolutely. And that's, and it's an interesting thing point that you bring up is that when you get into the top 10, into the top five of iTunes new and noteworthy, that much of that is actually manually placed. So, and they do it on aesthetic value. So they'll actually look, there's people who will look through the iPod or the uh, podcasts that are launching the newer ones, and they actually take them and place them at the top based on, on aesthetic. There's other factors that come into play in that formula as well that keep you up there at the very top, but it does a huge thing for your listenership. So, you know, Dr. Karen, my wife, she just launched a podcast two weeks ago. She's been in the number one spot in New and Noteworthy on several different categories. And even this morning, she texted me from Salt Lake. She's there for a conference and she said, I'm at over 300 listens already today. She's blowing my, my podcast out of the water. But that's just, again, the power. I mean, when was the last time one of us sat there like went and actually talked to 300 people in a day and not only in a day, but let's do that every day now. Or even if it was just 50 people or a hundred or a thousand, I mean, it's possible. Now we're seeing docs like, um, you know, and I'll talk a little bit about Dr. Jay Warren today is that, you know, in, in less than two weeks, he had over a thousand listens on his podcast and he had only just launched. He kept the number one spot again in a couple of categories and in, in new and noteworthy. So, you know, there's these docs who are really kind of seeing what the value is and they're, they're way ahead of the curve with it as everyone else is too. I'm going to just head back to that screen share for one more sec. So you can see, actually, these are all graduates from the TCP podcast training program. And you know what I'm going to do, actually, Billy? I'm going to pop up the the enrollment um, app there uh, because I'm famous for forgetting to do this. Okay, so that should be... So there's an, an enroll now for TCP enrollment. There's an enrollment button on the side on the right for everyone if you can see it. And uh, yeah, I'm famous for forgetting to put that up. So, I, and I know docs kind of float in and out sometimes with the uh, with the training. But I want you to see here is these are all podcast graduates, and you can go honestly, Billy. I mean, you can go and you can get this stuff off YouTube for free. But what we've done is we've packaged it into a play uh, into a way that docs can do this in a really short, specific time frame that get them in the top of new and noteworthy. And also, we build a community, so now you can actually run you know, your artwork by other chiropractors. You can ask, see what other chiropractors are actually doing and what's effective and what's not. So we've built a real community and uh, it's actually a lot of fun being part of that community and having that feedback. It really fuels the creative process. Um, docs really feel like it's it's their unique message of chiropractic. So it's, it's actually a lot of fun. You know, even just going through this artwork creation process and we show you how to do this on a really inexpensive way. I, I don't know about you, uh, Billy. By the way, I got a comment, Billy. I, I noticed um, the other day I was on Facebook and I went to click on a sponsored ad. It was a video and it was someone who was talking about building, building your leadership through podcasting, building your, your list, your content and your value. And they, they actually used your artwork as an example. What? Yeah. Well, <laughs> so, I wonder who yeah. it was. 
I don't, I can't remember who it was, but it was, I was like, hey, there's Cairo candy because they were showing all the different examples in different areas and categories of, that we're seeing podcasts are, are launching now. And uh, they were showing it again as, as an example of aesthetic value. But it, it was really interesting that, you know, even how far reaching podcasting is and how mainstream it's actually becoming. So uh, I thought, I thought I'd give you that, that shout yeah, out. Yeah, I appreciate too. that. So this is, yeah, this is what some of the people here um, in, in TCB podcast training are doing. You know, here's Sig Talks. Most, uh, who doesn't know about Kerry Sigafoos? I mean, he's doing something so incredible with podcasting, you know, bringing, you know, the legacy of his father and, you know, James Sigafoos to life and giving so much value and content for free. Where What he does is he actually gives you a, a clip of some of his father's recordings and then he does a discussion on them as well. And... Um, Oh boy, it's so unique. I remember sitting in bed at two in the morning, Billy, texting back and forth with Carrie going, oh no, here's here's how we should do it. And, and we were like going over the artwork and and going, oh, you know, it should be like, yeah, let's do a clip and then you can discuss it. Uh, just a lot of fun when we look at this too. Um, here's the real, the, the stats. I mean, again, we talked a little bit about the stats, but I think the most important one is that in 2016, uh, Apple CarPlay will be in every new manufactured vehicle. So if you want your patients driving to work, driving home, driving their kids to daycare, listening to your podcast, you need to, you need to actually have one on iTunes. You need to have one on Stitcher. They also have um, uh, incredible, incredible amount of downloads off of mobile devices. I mean, you can, like, who isn't sitting right next to their phone right now? I listened to a podcast this morning on my way home from dropping off my kids at daycare. You know, this this is the way that you can be in your literally in the back pocket of your patients. And and uh, what is that value? I mean, we all have those patients who kind of get off track or disappear, you know, for the summer or whatever that might happen. So this is a really interesting way that we can stay connected with those patients, provide them value you know, and make sure that we uh, educate them, maintain, you know, uh, that educational process with them too. Can I jump in here? In yeah. Here for a second. Um, my wife had to make uh, a very sudden trip, a six hour trip last night to Little Rock, Arkansas, and turn around and come back. The very first thing she did when she realized she had to make the trip, she's like, I got to download some more podcasts. She gets on her phone and you know, she was actually waiting at the house. I was like, are you about to leave? And she's like, well, I want to wait because she was in Wi-Fi. I didn't want to use data. She goes, let me let me wait till these other episodes download. And that's what people do. But think about right now, if you ask a lot of people in your area what's podcasting, they don't know yet. No. But that is good. That is a benefit for you to be able to jump in and take advantage of it and be the first doctor, the first chiropractor, the first healthcare provider in your area. And you're hearing us talk about, you know, globally, what all, what all it can do, but let's, let's talk about how it can help you right now in, in your local area. One, you start doing them, then you, you share them on Facebook. People kind of start to know about them. You know, you do episodes that are topics that people want to know about, you know, not necessarily plugging your practice. It's value-based content. But another strategy, and I hope I'm not uh, stealing your thunder here, oh, no. but find some leaders, influencers in your local market and interview them. They would be honored to come and be on. And then chances, chances are, if they're on social media, they're going to share it, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever it may be, they're going to share that they were on your show. And you get to now use, borrow their credibility, gain access to their followers. And that's another way that it helps you. You know, you do some of the things that we do. Uh, you know, Dr. Ed and I, we both go after people in this industry that we feel are going to give value to the chiropractors as a whole. Okay. Because we're looking to provide value to the, the profession. You're looking to provide value for people in your market. So you're going after people in your market that you know can bring value to the show. Does that make sense? Absolutely. 
And I got to tell you, I mean, it's it's so funny. I go back 13 years. I can't believe I've been, out, I've been out 13 years. I remember starting my practice from scratch and having the discussion with my wife. I'm like, why am I spending $4,000 to start up a website? Do I really need a website? Like, the, you know, and it's kind of we're in the same phase right now for for podcasts where I will want to create it. I've created five different websites in the last year. So I go straight to GoDaddy and I search my URL, my domain. And I'm like, oh, this is perfect. Taken. You know, I search another one taken. It's the same things happening on podcasting. So if you got that doc, if you got that, that idea for naming, you know, whatever it might be, that's local to your geography, to your area, you know, that's going to be gone. It's going to be gone. And then it won't get approved by iTunes and Stitcher. So they are, I mean, it, it is getting that, it is starting to get that sort of momentum. And, um, now today it's like everyone knows that you have to have a website it's a must i mean everyone knows that but i think if we go five years from now people are going to be going what, what were the, why would you ever have websites why what was that email thing you used to do was that's funny you used to sit there and type back and forth because the technology moves so quickly and podcasting and audio is, is part of that so let's see here where is my screen share where was i because I want to get some strategies here for docs too and show them really the effects. So this is actually why we do podcasting. This is actually from, um, oh gosh, where is it from? I can't remember. <laughs> so it's from a very, it's, uh, it's from a very reputable uh, source. It's uh, basically showing that podcasts are actually reaching or are starting to surpass leaders, uh, listenership in terms of uh, passing even AM and FM radio. Like it's really starting to pick up. Uh, and I love how, how Billy is saying too, that, you know, not everyone has listened to a podcast, which means there is incredible growth. A lot of people might think of that from a, a scarcity mindset and go, why would I want to be in that space? But the reason is because there is so much growth and potential there. You know, if we look even at my Facebook page, I started with zero people 12 months ago on my Facebook page. We just surpassed 3000 doctors actually liking the page this this week. And then also, um, this is just the, this week, you know, my post reach has reached over 10,000 chiropractors from my page, my, you know, 387 of those have actually engaged. I've even had two people sign up for my list. So my contact list through my, my Facebook page. And the week before I had 198,000 post reach. So it's, it's really, again, a powerful, powerful way to, to really just connect with your, uh, your local community, build your following, you could say your authority, like uh, Billy's saying tier two. You know, if you look at some of the stats here from even TCP, 198,000 downloads will pass, uh, likely pass this week, uh, the 200,000. Thank goodness, Mark. It seems like it's going real slow right now for me. And then you could see this, I just captured this last night. Um, so last night, even at that point, I was still at over 100 listens. And imagine again, 800 people listening to your voice in that 24 hour time period. What an amazing reach, what amazing potential I hope that doctors are really seeing here. If you follow a synchronicity of steps that, that make this easy, don't go through the heartache and the heartburn of trying to figure this out when people like Billy and I have already done the work for you. You know, I've been featured with tons of different people, uh, you know, Canfield to Ortner to John Gray. I mean, it's crazy to think that six months ago, all right, 12 months ago, I, I was just launching a podcast and I'm on the phone with Jack Canfield. And I, I mean, I had a doc emailed me the other day and asked me, how do they get uh, access to my million dollar um, Rolodex? So it's, it's that powerful that, you know, what I'm finding. And I think that, um, I think that, I think Billy, you'll probably notice this too. And you've kind of touched on it is that the, the podcast almost becomes secondary to the the value of the networking that happens with the podcast so if you are local like you said and you go and you sit down with a local fitness expert and you interview them not only are you um upping your authority and your expert status by positioning yourself next to them but they feel like you're doing them a favor and then so you i call it making deposits in your value bank so i mean you're basically making all these networks these connections and uh you're also making it so that you know, the conversations that go on after, and I'm sure you hear this all the time, Billy, is like, it's, there's so many ama amazing conversations that go on when the, when we're not hitting the record button. Right. I was going to say the same thing where you wish it was recorded or have you ever finished an episode and you're 
like I was talking to my wife the other day about something and I, I was sharing something that somebody had shared on the show. And I was like, you know what? I think that may have been after we stopped recording, you know? And so, yeah, but think about this too. If you walked up, you approach somebody that is, you know, in the health field, you know, in your local area and you just said, Hey, you know, can I sit down and visit with you? Can I interview you or whatever? Not about a podcast. You just wanted some of their time. Their response to that is going to be totally different than if you said, listen, I host a podcast for our community, you know, on health and wellness or whatever your niche topic may be. Uh, and I really feel that you'd have a lot of value to share. You know, could we schedule a little time to sit down for you to be on the show? It's so much easier to get people to say yes to that, you know, because just like what Dr. Ed's saying is it, it gives, you're benefiting them too, not just yourself. You know, it's not, it's what's in it for me. You know, that's what everybody's thinking, right? Um, there's so many benefits of podcasting, even for a local chiropractor, but that's the whole reason we're doing this, this webinar. Absolutely. And I mean, here's, here's the thing too, is like chiropractors are funny. And I mean, I'm a chiropractor, so I'm funny too. Okay. <laughs> and I measure ROI. So every time I, I look at anything in my office, in my business at all, I always like to put my finger on ROI. Podcasting, it's tough to put your finger on ROI, but it's getting more and more challenging to measure the return on your investment these days. I mean, because people will touch so many different things before they come into your office now. So they'll touch your, like they'll visit your website, they'll see you in the paper, they'll go to your workshop, they'll do all of these things before they finally make the decision to call and come in. So it's not, it's not something that we can always put our finger on, but here's the beauty. Now that we've had TCP out there and we've launched um, almost 20 podcasts now as well for chiropractors, and we have 100 members in, uh, in different levels or different stages of production, now we're starting to measure, get tangible, measurable results and tactics that we can use and see that people are starting to, again, tr attract patients into your office. But also, again, this is what we're going to talk about today is, is reactivating. Because I think even some people are probably... Uh, docs are listening right now and they're seeing how they could actually use this to reactivate patients. So here's something that I want to talk about and it's really just connection. These are just two emails I received and I get these emails every day, two emails I received from chiropractors. Um, one was in Singapore and I think the other was in Sweden. So these are just two emails that I received this week, you know, very proud of what you do. Thanks for putting in so much effort and being uh, both a glue and the driving force in the profession. And this comes back to what Billy was saying about value. There's so much value that is seen in what you're doing when you do a podcast. It's, and, and that's what you do is you provide value for your services, provide value, 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 and then you provide that service. And the, there's an exchange at that point, which of course is, is how we uh, how we provide care for our patients. You know, we have that exchange of service. We we start to get people under under chiropractic care, which is our ultimate goal. Educate them, you know, using things like podcasting. But then we start to help them heal with our hands, which is the most important thing and the thing that we all love to do. So this is also one of the questions I get, and that's where do I get content? And I'm gonna I'm gonna just summarize this real quick. It's very simple. It's all about what talk about what you're passionate about. Talk about your expertise. What is it that you you like to do? What is it you you consider is your superpower? And then who is it that you want to speak to? So once you take those three key factors in and you make it very niche, like you just niche it right down. And I'm going to give you a couple examples in a moment here too of how you can do that just with some podcasts that have launched. So here's actually a case study of Dr. Jason Jones. And so what he's done with Healthy Families, uh, this is actually a, a capture of his website, by the way. And um, so he's done some really brilliant things. I think he has his 26th episode out now. And what he's done is he actually features his podcast. It's the first thing you see is his podcast artwork, Billy, when you, he comes right onto his website. It's really cool. If you Google him um, in, uh, I, gosh, where is he again? But if you Google him, he's the number one spot, not page one on Google, the very first organic uh, chiropractor to appear. So that is the power of podcasting. And, and part of that is because what he's done here, if you look, you could see his podcast is on his website 
And so he features his podcast all there on a tab. And that means um, there's a feed that's being sent there. And so Google really likes that and they will rank you higher based on that as well. So it ups your, it's called search engine optimization. The other way you can do it is placing video and he does that too. So he's brilliant at this. Did you have any comments about that, uh, Billy? Yeah, I, can you hear me? I'm not sure yeah. if my, I'm muted, okay. Uh, well, that's the thing is everybody wants to be on the first page of Google, okay? Because nowadays, hang on, I wanted to show you something. I may have actually thrown it away. I got a phone book a couple of days ago. And it amazes me how much money is wasted on the yellow pages now because oh. no people don't use the yellow pages anymore. They grab, they get on their desktop or they get on their phone, they go to Google and they type in whatever they're looking for, the name of the town and the state. That's what they do. And for chiropractors, everybody wants to, you know, be on top, obviously, but it's whenever you have all these episodes out and which one of the things that he talks about in the course and teaches in the course is when you optimize your show notes in these episodes for your specific town, next thing you know, out of the you know top 10 listings in Google, you're the majority of them because, because he shows you how to optimize each episode for your search engine rankings. And when you're putting this stuff out constantly, you know, video here a couple of years ago, video really took off in helping people with their search engine rankings uh, because Google just, you know, they bought YouTube and they just loved videos and a lot of people watch videos online. Well, as podcasting continues to grow, mark my words, you are going to see it. We're already seeing it, but you're going to see that have more and more of an effect on your search engine rankings. So that right there, alone is worth it mm -hmm. you know not so you've got the search engine optimization benefits which is huge you've got the education you have a chance to control the conversation of what it is you want your patients to hear and think about this you've got you know miss smith that comes in and there's something specific she's struggling with when she goes to leave you can tell her hey make sure you go to listen to episode number seven of my show that's about that topic you know, it, it, the education is huge. The, uh, I can go on and on. I mean, I can't come back over to you or, I, or else I'm going to talk for 20 minutes. <laughs> All right. Well, it, good gave, <laughs> it gave me a good a minute here to, to, to pull something up I want to share. So thank you for that. Okay. So what I did is I'm going to go back to screen share. I actually Googled chiropractic Elizabeth city, and then you can see actually optimum wellness rehab. There's Dr. Jason Jones site. And so it's just below, um, a Facebook page, but you can see that it's actually number one, or, or I guess number two, and it's on page one. And if you click into his site, can you see this okay, Billy? Yes. Okay. So if you click into his site, now you can actually see that, okay, when we go in, he features his podcast. He also has video here, but interesting too, if you go to his podcast tab, he has all of the different episodes. So what means is that when I click on one of these to listen, it's pulling from Libsyn. So it's called an RSS feed. So it has all of these feeds. And that is what Google picks up on is every time someone goes to his website and listens that they are um, pulling from the feed, which means it ups his SEO or search engine optimization. We used to do this way back with uh, like the, some people still do it with blogs. Here's the other beautiful thing, beautiful thing. If I search Trish Blackwell, if I search Dr. Lauren Knoll, his podcast shows up. They're not searching him. They're not searching chiropractic. His podcast shows up. Now he's funneling people to his website. So it's really interesting. I mean, there's so many angles. People go here that they're interested in, in, in Dr. Jones. So what they'll do is they, they start to listen and they hear his voice. They see he's an expert. You know, um, gosh, there's so many ways. You can take this. He could take this episode on simple human lifestyle, keeping health simple, and you could email that to your patients. Here's how you could reactivate them. You could email that to have your team email five patients a day that are inactive, that you have their email accounts. And instead of sending them a letter that never gets opened or thrown in the trash, instead of sending them a cheesy coupon, you send them your voice by email. 
even better, let's say you have their text, you can text it to them. Now, what's the, you know, the open rate, um, Billy, uh, what would you say the open rate is on, on SMS, on text? Probably what? Like, like 97%. <laughs> no, because I, I, that's one of the things I do. I help people mark from a marketing standpoint, set those, set that up. And, you know, used to, it was email. You wanted to use email, but it gets where now, you know, the first thing that people look at to open an email is it's not the subject line. People think that's what it is. No, the first thing that they determine whether or not they want to, they're interested is who it's from. Yeah. So they see who it's from. Then they see the subject matter. Then they decide on whether or not they want to open it. So, you know, if you're getting, you know, 20, 25% open rates, it's pretty good on a phone. You can't go to a restaurant and look around and see people sitting at tables that aren't looking down at their phone. You know, if there's a text, it's, they're going to, they're going to open it. They're going to read it. So, yep. and obviously they give you permission to be able to do that. But yep. yeah, studies show that it's over 97% because everybody has their phone with them all the time. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I always get permission again. And and so it's just like when you do an opt-in for a newsletter. So you get permission, just give them a box that they check that you can connect with them. So, so how many offices right now do confirmations for their patients through SMS? So it is just a nice, neat way to actually forward that. Now, here's the beauty of it, Billy. What you can do is then you can actually, if that patient really likes it, you can ask them to share it. And how hard is it to share an SMS? Like you just They'll just forward it to someone else. Hey, check out what my chiropractor is doing. I mean, there's this is stuff that nobody is teaching, and it's it's incredible that uh, ways of of uh, of attracting new people, building authority again, and education. I mean, you know, if you send um, if you have how many times do we have patients walk in, and uh, you know, I would spend anywhere from three to five minutes maximum with a patient on an adjustment. But they have some of them require more time. They have more questions. And you know, you can actually say, you know what, I I have a whole podcast on that. Would it be helpful if I actually emailed that to you? Or if they say, you know, I have a friend that has this concern, would chiropractic help them? Yeah, you know what? I would I could actually forward this podcast to them. They could listen to it. I mean, it's such a different connection than to get go, here's a brochure, go and actually uh, hand this to your friend. So it's it's just it's instant. At the end of the day, your team sends it over. And something else we haven't talked about, you know, video marketing is still can be a, is still a very valuable tool uh, for your practice, but people have to stop what they're doing to watch a video. With a podcast, they do it driving down the road. They do it at the gym. They do it. It's easy. They can you know do it while they're cleaning house, while they're cooking supper. Uh, it's so easy to consume that, uh, and then that's one of the things that makes it more intimate whenever you're doing stuff like that. Yeah, and I mean, I, I would suggest doing both if possible. I mean, if you have time to do both, then then by all means do it. I mean, in in my course, I teach people, I teach doctors how to how to repurpose video. So like, they may have amazing videos, like 10, 15 minute videos, or even less than 10 minutes is even better. And I show them how to take the audio out of that, and that's their podcast. Yep. So now, yeah, they don't have to do anything. I mean, we talked about this. We did a whole podcast on, or a whole webinar just on how you can take your blogs, your written blogs, read them into a microphone, and that's your podcast. Right. And we're not, we're not at all saying that this is to replace what you're already doing. Mm -mm. This is an additional tool in your belt to help you market and grow your practice. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and again, to, gosh, I mean, again, it's, it's really, again, it, it becomes such a, what gets doctors so excited is it's their own unique message. It's not, there's no script. There's no coercion. It's all them. It's just real. It's authentic, which is where marketing is in 2015, 16. So perfection is procrastination. Um, I sucked at first, Billy. Like I still, some days I listen to my podcast. I have a hard time with it and it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. And that's actually sometimes better is when it's more realistic, more, authentic, like we just talked about, it's all about getting it done and getting it out there. You can refine it, the process later, make it better. And you'll learn like, I mean, Dr. Jones, the example I used as a case study a moment ago, I'm sure his first episodes weren't, you know, his best, but you get you once you hit your stride, it's uh, pretty incredible. And he's had some really big names on his show now too. This is Dr. Jay Warren. I'm so proud of what he's doing. In just the last two weeks, he launched, uh, he's with Cap Wellness Center. In, uh, just inside San Diego. And he launched um, the podcast, uh, Healthy 
births, happy babies. So you can see how he's really niched it down to exactly the, the audience he wants to speak to. And he's used it as, it as an educational tool. And what he posted here is he actually did a, a launch bundle. So he sent out, he started with three podcasts. He got in, uh, now he's just up, uh, I think around a thousand, if not over a thousand downloads completely uh, now in just short of two weeks. He did what exactly we were talking about a moment ago. So he had set, had some patients he hadn't seen in a bit. He sent out, just selected 10 to 12 of those people. He emailed those people, his podcast, the one that you see here, and he had three of them call and book appointments that week. I don't know any reactivation program out there right now that is getting that sort of a return, that sort of a um, an exchange, unless it's the doctor actually mailing and then getting on the phone and calling patients, which honestly, doc, you, your time is best more, more like is, is best served when we're adjusting, right? We are the catalyzing agent in our office. That's where we need to be. So if you can sit down and record a podcast for 10 minutes and then use that to send out or have your team mail it out, that's the way it should be done. Yeah, that's great. And then, you know, what does it cost to do this? And you can actually, you know, if you have autoresponders and stuff set up in your office, you can mail your whole database whenever episodes come out. Yeah. You know, you don't have to do it. You can have it where it's set up. There's ways to do it where it is a little more technical, but where it does it automatically. A new show comes out, your whole email list gets notified there's a new podcast. So it's just, it can be incredibly effective. You control the conversation. Um, it's just, it's great. It is. And I want to show you a question. How, sure. What's the question? You want to answer a question real quick? Yep. Uh, either one of us can answer this. It says, uh, what is the best way to see where you are ranked on iTunes? Yeah, it's hard to, I mean, you can go to new and note the worthy and you can go to uh, what's hot and you can kind of see where you are in those places. Uh, like I show up in Canada and what's hot within the top 20, like chiropractic philanthropist. But as far as I know, the only stats that I can see are the ones that I was about to go through here on Libsyn. Do you know of another way? I mean, I've had some, I've heard there's some ways that you can track well, it in iTunes. It's, it's a lot easier when you're, you have your first eight weeks to be ranked into a noteworthy. Uh, yeah. You want to get on your desktop and you get to select three different categories that you want to submit to. Um, and then you look at under those categories and we're not going to get too specific here, but you'll just on your desktop, open up iTunes and the app, and then you, you'll go down, select the categories and then go to new and noteworthy and it'll show all the artwork and you just start scrolling down. And you know, the first time you see it, it's, it's exciting. You know, then you get up there. I think I was like number four, uh, in which was still in a marketing and business category, which is still huge. Uh, yeah. But I took a screenshot and sent it out on LinkedIn and all this. But something else that a lot of people don't realize is there's a way that you can check to see how you rank in other countries as well. At the very bottom of your screen, when you go to iTunes, go down to the very, very bottom, and there's a flag. Like for me, it's an American flag, uh, which I think is what most people is what it should be. But, you know, up there, Dr. Ed, poor Dr. Ed, he's got a Canadian flag on his. But all you do is you click on the flag and then you select whatever country you want. Uh, and then it'll basically pull up iTunes and how people see it in that country. So, you know, it's kind of time consuming, but you can click on each country, you know, or where you think you're at. Libsyn will actually show you how many downloads you have per country uh, yeah. so that you can pull up those countries on there and then look and see how you're ranking. Yeah. And, and I honest, hope that answered your question. I think so. Yeah. And, and I mean, honestly, like I was big in Germany for a while, like me and David Hasselhoff, I don't know what it is, but, um, <laughs> you know, the, the, honestly, it got to, to a point though, for me with the philanthropist is I wasn't really as concerned after my first eight weeks and, and, uh, in new and noteworthy as to where I ranked in, anymore. I was more concerned with how many people were listening. How many people were actually getting value, which I'll just kind of do a screen share here of Libsyn. So the Libsyn account is really 15 bucks a month and it just holds like all of your, all of your podcast content, all your audios that you have loaded up. You just load your podcast to that. So I loaded Tony Ebel yesterday and uh, iTunes just as soon as they, they kind of like iTunes is just a big search engine. So they're just out there. It's out there just searching, searching, searching. And then when it sees that you upload a new file, it just automatically loads it right onto iTunes once we get you approved. That's as simple as it gets to, to 
explaining how uh, podcasting works. But you can see, you know, this one has been uploaded. If I wanted to share this episode, I would just simply go to where it says direct download URL and I can cut and I can, I can copy that. And then we can actually, that would be what you would email or SMS to patients possibly, or, um, you know, any way that you think is a creative way. So you can see there it's playing right away. The interesting thing is that once you text this, once you email it, as soon as they receive it, when you text it, as soon as they open it, they start listening. When you email it, they, they will be able to see the player and they will be able to click on it and they can play it as well. So it's a very powerful way to, you can see how quick that was. It's not like they have to click here, click there, do all these different things to listen to your voice. It's very, very fast. You know, something else about Libsyn is, um, you know, you mentioned the $15 a month. Depending on what size, you know, how long your episodes are and how many you're putting out, you know, if you're doing, let's say, you know, seven minutes once a week, or something like that, as, as minimal as that is, uh, they have a, you know, one of their services is only $5 a month. Uh, and that's based on, you know, how many you do per month, not your total downloads or anything like that. So uh, it's very, very, very affordable. Absolutely. And it's, it's really just, it becomes a resource for your patients, doesn't it? It not only is it, again, we're coming back now to education, is that you have those conversations with patients and you're like, hey, have you been to this workshop I've that I'm teaching this weekend or have you done this or have you done, you know, been to this one? And we all have those patients. Oh, I, I can't make it. I can't do this. I can't do that. So now if you have that audio, you can actually just simply go, here's the resource where I'm going to have my, you know, I literally have at your station with you a list of patients that you are going to forward certain uh, episodes that you have to directly to their email. This is how it's done. This is how you stay connected with your patient. Um, when they're outside your door, again, you be in their back pocket. That's that's really what it's about. So um, let's see here. Someone said that they've uh, uh, we've lost the broadcast. Is everybody hearing us? We have another question. Mm -hmm. Alan lost the broadcast. So. To get the broadcast back, just simply go ahead and reload. So go back through the link again. Okay. And Antonio has a question about equipment. I'm going to get there in just a second. And hopefully we haven't lost everyone. But broadcast is still going, so I'm going to keep going. So. Yeah, it shows, yeah, it shows that everybody's still on, or okay. the majority of people are still on. So, yeah, we should be good. Okay, so here's how it's done. Here's where the smart money is. So just like I'm talking about with with uh, earlier with with Billy here is that now you can actually start to really localize. You can really make this local to your area. So here's Dave Tran. This guy's like what I don't know three weeks out of chiropractic college and he's killing it. He's actually started the launch through TCP. It's called Live Life OKC. So that is so specific. It's brilliant. He's got, he's got like 10 interviews with leaders in his community that are already lined up. That's huge for networking. If those places that you want to get in and do corporate workshops and corporate or go to those health stores and health, you know, wherever it might be that you want to, you want to get in and actually speak, this is the way to get your foot in the door. Uh, I just pulled up this other one. You can see here, this is actually Memphis success. This is a, you know, I, I have no idea who Darnell Reed is, but he's brilliant because he's doing the same thing. And you can see he's posting it up actually on Facebook. And this is what I would recommend is, again, using it as a very specific way, as podcasting is a very specific way to attract, to network, to educate, but more, more importantly, reactivate like I showed you. So here's, I'm going to go to answer that question then. So uh, I don't know what mic you're using there, Billy, but I use, um, I've, I've gone through a couple different expensive mics. I always go back to the uh, audio technica that I have here, which is like, I think it's a 2125. It's, it's about an $80 mic. And I saw it actually on sale for 40 bucks on Amazon. Yeah. I, I actually have, uh, an audio technica. This is the 25, 2500 and mine's a USB mic. So it just simply plugs straight in, into my laptop. What, what, did, what did you, do you mind telling us? What did you uh, invest in that mic? I'm thinking 60 or 70 bucks. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So it wasn't much at all. Yeah. It's not a big, it's not a big investment. So the next one is actually headphones, uh, earbuds, headphones, use whatever you have. Uh, these ones are 19 99 on Amazon. 
that's pretty much as, as tough as it gets. You, I mean, you can start to add in things like mics and boom, or uh, mic stands and booms and things like that. Uh, but even a mic stand, a boom, a pop filter to to kind of lower the amount of clicks and pops and things like that when you're doing your podcasting. Uh, Fifteen bucks for a a podcast or for either of those. It's right. really not. Yeah, they're not it's expensive. Very inexpensive. So the editing software that you would use, and by the way, docs will sometimes go, I don't have time. I don't have time. Where am I going to find the time to edit, you know, a podcast, edit audio, upload it, blah, blah, blah. Here's the thing. Most chiropractors who are, say, a seven-figure business, I wouldn't ask them to sit down for an hour and actually edit their own podcast, but they all have a PRCA or a team member that can do it for them. I've taught even, you know, people like uh, the Master Circle. Um, I taught their team how to edit and upload. So Bob Hoffman records his, and Dr. Perman record their audios, and then their team edits, ed edits that and then puts it onto Libsyn. And they've been doing outstanding. They've had over... Uh, 5,000, I believe, downloads in just short, you know, a month or two months that they've been out. But yeah, so GarageBand is the editing software. It is completely free. Audacity is for P PC and Mac. Um, what do you use for, for editing software? Bill? I do Audacity. And I have a Mac. Uh, I have GarageBand. Audacity, it's, it looks a little overwhelming when you first open it, but it's really pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward and... Uh, I just, I still, even though I have a Mac and I'm a Mac fan, love all their software, I still use Audacity. And here's the thing. I have full video tutorials on GarageBand, full video tutorials on Audacity if you're PC. In in the TCP podcast training, and I, I would take you in there, um, but it's, it's, uh, it's quite overwhelming sometimes if I do that for docs, but there's probably over 80 video tutorials, but they're anywhere from two to three minutes and you wouldn't need all of them, but there's full video tutorials on, on everything you would need to create a podcast or delegate your team to, uh, to use as well. But everything's pretty much free. So the investment, there's not a huge investment at all. You know, and it really comes back to looking at innovation, if there was anyone who was in, an innovator in our profession, it was BJ Palmer. You know, he knew the value, you know, years ago, he knew the value of radio and broadcast, you know, with WOC. I mean, he started this. And um, I'm just gonna head over and show one other thing. So I'm gonna head right to, so what I'm doing is, if everyone can see there's a button on the right, right hand side and it says enroll now i've actually just clicked that button and i've headed over there and i'm going to share uh, screen share what that looks like it won't take you away from the from the webinar it will just simply open in a different screen hopefully this works whoops that didn't work Yeah, Dr. Jason actually just uh, commented on one of my posts on Facebook. I had to tell him we were just talking about him on, on the webinar. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Let's see, Let's see here. One sec. If I can't get in, I can't get in. We can edit this, right? This isn't live, right? No, not at all. No, these people aren't really here. <laughs> You know, talking about audacity, really, it kind of looks overwhelming. My daughter is in eighth grade volleyball, and she was tasked or commissioned with the task of putting together a medley of music that the volleyball team can work out to. And so the girls, she had a couple of friends come over. They had 45 songs picked out that they wanted to put into a 30-minute you know, like one song, just mash them all together. And she's like, you can do that, right, Dad? I said, I don't I don't know if you realize how big of a task that is. Yeah. But what I did is I opened up Audacity, and I showed them how to upload the songs. And then real quickly, I just walked them through the steps. And within about 10 minutes, these 13-year-olds knew how to work Audacity, knew what to do. So. Wow. Yeah, it's it's not it, and the learning curve, especially with the program. The learning curve is really not that yeah. tough at all. People can figure it out. But again, more importantly, have your team do it. It doesn't have to be you. I mean, if if that's your thing, go ahead. I mean, that's that's cool. But um, it doesn't have to be uh, difficult at all. So this is actually the TCP podcast training um, enrollment site. 
And so if you could see here, we'll just scroll kind of through here. The first module is all about creative. And what we do is we just simply teach doctors how to create an effective podcast, how to have great uh, podcast um, uh, artwork, uh, really go through the process of, you know, what is the different strategies you can use to, uh, to get your content out there. Then what we do is module two is all about the tech. Now you wouldn't need all of these tutorials. There's, there's quite a few in there, but they are click by click and they are just so easy, super simple. So, and then the last module is all about business and marketing. We show you how to market. I actually even include all of my emails that my invitations for my podcast. So if you're interested to know how I got Jack Canfield on the show, you got to buy my program. Because <laughs> I will give you the actual invitation I use to get him on the show, so and any of those other those other uh, people too. So what are chiropractors saying about this program? Here's Dr. Ryan French. He's he just basically says, you know, this is a program that you know for someone who has like no experience, no technical standpoint uh, from a technical standpoint. I took it, you know, the material is easy play by play. Uh, you know, we have Chris Burfield here. He launched uh, Market from the Heart podcast. We won't go watch his whole video to, to here as well, but he he launched an incredible marketing uh, podcast. Dr. Laura Graval um, in Toronto. She's in uh, getting ready to launch. I hope Dr. Kerry Sigafus, my biggest biggest. I'm I'm his biggest fan to be honest with you. Uh, He's done incredible things for the profession, you know, so unique, bringing that unique value of bringing philosophy to uh, to chiropractors worldwide using his podcast. And he's made a business of it. He's actually starting to to see that there's a there's a need here in exchange. So Dr. Joe Criscola, same thing. He's, he loved the program. He was up and launched within about four weeks, I believe. Uh, Dr. Joe Hudak was up and launched in 10 days. He's in New Jersey. It says here, uh, yeah, just after nine days, and he said, we've already experienced 300 downloads of our podcast in the first week. That's incredible results he had. There's Dr. Jason Jones. Tabor Smith actually launched his podcast as well for Genesis Chiropractic Software. So um, helping uh, helping them out or sponsored through them. So he created a podcast. We, I mean, we could go on and on. Dr. Kyle Gulledge, um, you know, the Master Circle launched the program through us. All of these different programs were launched. So today, here's the deal. Because it's the Labor Day week, by the way, and I've almost forgot about that, we're actually throwing in a bonus for anyone who enrolls, and it's actually a $590 bonus for anyone who enrolls. And that is my program that is for TCP video podcast training. So in the next week or two, that will be launching and it will be included. Normally, it will be a separate program that is a value of not $590. The next step the evolution of podcasting is video on iTunes. And I'm going to show you how you can actually repurpose. So create a video podcast, take the audio out of that, and then make it an audio podcast on iTunes as well. So that's included in the whole program. This is a lifetime access, by the way. It's not a subscription. So when, for, so for example, Billy, what happened was, um, I don't know if you know, but like video, uh, GarageBand came out with a 10.0 version of, of GarageBand. And so what I had to do was I actually went in and I created all new video tutorials for 10.0. So you get all these upgrades as they start to come out as well. So we, we really make it really just super simple. Normally the program is uh, $9.99, but what we're doing is if you do the one-time investment today, it's actually, we're gonna do this for the next uh, today and then it's gonna go up tomorrow by 100 each one of these will go up by 100 each day in a, on the next three days but today it's a one-time investment of 675 and we do have a 30-day no questions asked money back guarantee we rarely rarely ever have anyone refund the program because it's incredible value and it is so solid now you can do a two payment option as well and it's basically the investments are 400 each so it's 800 and then you can also do the four payment option which is actually the most popular and that's four installments of 249.75 um and again like i said it's a complete money back guarantee there's really no risk um one so if you're on that site doc you can go ahead and click one of those buttons and you can actually head right into the uh program and enroll i'm just gonna zip out of here for one quick sec beautiful and one thing i want to show as well is i do want to take docs into if i can do this our facebook page do we have a minute to do that, Billy? What do you think? Yeah, and you know, while you're pulling that up, I just want to say, if 
you, you don't have anything to lose. There's a money back guarantee. But if you don't take advantage of this now, you're going to be kicking yourself six months from now, a year from now, wishing you would have started earlier. Because even if you're not, you know, producing an episode every week, you know, uh, you, you get some out there and then, you, you know, you take a break for a little bit. Those are still working for you. They're still there. So the sooner you you start, it's like having a website. It's like having a blog. The sooner you get out there and start doing that, it it's just going to continue to build for you. You know, don't wait. Yeah. You're not going to get it any cheaper. Uh, you just click the button. <laughs> and the only other time that it's been this least expensive, like below 700 for the program was when we actually launched back in April of 2015 and it was 625 and I promised it would never go that low again. So 675 is a great deal. And you can see that there's an offer will end in about 12 minutes. So you can jump on, but here's the, here's the thing. It's okay if you're not ready. Okay. That doesn't mean you're procrastinating, but you can still invest in the program now and you can launch in six months. You will have lifetime access to this content and you will have lifetime access to all the upgrades and to the TCP podcast uh, community, which I'm showing you here on Facebook. What I'm doing in the next six months, and I, I, I'm kind of reluctant to share this is, but I'm actually going to take the whole program off of you know, we're no longer going to be enrolling sometime in the next six months. And the reason I'm doing that is actually I'm coming out uh, and I've already started a coaching program. And what I'm going to do is lock it down. So it's only for coaching clients. And we're also doing a partnership with another coach. And so we're going to come out with something very special in the next six months with TCP and this other uh, coaching uh, program. And only members of uh, that program will have access. So this is the time, if you're thinking of enrolling, this is really the time to do it. Um, because again, I am gonna lock it down unless you of course come on to our coaching. But I wanna show you a little bit, this is what um, you can see there's, we have 99 members actually in the program. Now we actually have more than 99 members, um, doctors who have you know, purchased or invested in this program, but not everyone is on Facebook, believe it or not, Billy. So, uh, you can see here, here's Dr. J. He's, he's just showing, you know, here I created four by four cards as handouts to promote the podcast. And so he's handing these out as his practice. And it ups his, ups his authority just by having the iTunes logo right there too. So again, this these are all the different things that we do to kind of, uh, he even shared, you know, how he got these done for 50 bucks at got, got print. So we there's money saving tips through here. Here's Dr. Nancy Tarlow. She's actually launching a podcast called Healthy Alternatives to Vaccinations. Brilliant, by the way. She's niched it down. Very specific market. We helped her come out with her artwork. Um, that's what we do. Is we, as a group, you will pot, most people will place their podcast artwork directly onto the page, and then we can all give feedback. Here's actually I've posted some music that I was thinking of actually using it for an intro on my new podcast, Uncoaching Podcast. And so um, we get tons and tons of feedback. Here's Dr. Jones is sharing his new podcast. So what happens is when you launch your podcast, a new one comes out, post it on our page. And then the 99 other hundred doctors on here, we all share them. We all listen. We all rate. We all review. So we, this is a community. We support each other. And it's, you know, people like Dr. Jay Warren have, have come out with a program that's really just a, a great resource in general for chiropractors. So let's see here, I wanted to get to, here's another one that I really, really like that just came out last week. And that's actually Dr. Um, Asha. And what she's done is her podcast is seven minutes. It's, isn't that brilliant, Billy? What do you think of that? Seven minutes, who, has the, who doesn't have seven minutes? Right, it's very <laughs> easy to digest. Absolutely. So, you know, she, she has a weekly podcast, comes out, it's seven minutes and they're incredible because not, um, there is no one who would, they look at a podcast and they think about, do I have 60 minutes or 90 minutes to invest in this? But when they see seven minutes, boy, they have time. And it's a beautiful strategy. I don't think I even taught that to her. She figured that out on her own. But yeah, we could keep going through the the, the, uh, the podcast uh, Facebook page here forever. But um, that's that's essentially what we're doing here with, with chiropractors. What we're seeing is uh, lots of docs are, are coming out with tons of great content. They're... They're putting out the, their unique message of chiropractic. They're using it to educate, to attract new patients, to build their network. Um, uh, and like you said, Billy, I think, I think uh, you know, if there's a doc out there and they're in, like I said, Tulsa, and they don't grab that name now, six Somebody months are going to be disappointed. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah. And you know, whether it's, it's your general area, like in this part of Texas, Southeast Texas, that's, that's used in, you know, Southeast Texas.com. That website gets well over a million uh, downloads or not downloads, sorry, podcast speak, uh, you know, a million views a month and stuff because of the name, you know, you've got to be able to grab your name for your show as quick as you can before it's gone. You know, another uh, tactic I was uh, going to share real quick, you know, hopefully you guys are out giving talks and lectures for your practice already. Well, how awesome would it be at the end? You know, if people have questions or they want to know more, you direct them back to certain episodes of your show. You know, it, this is just an extension of everything else that you should already be doing. You know, it's just to help you be more effective. You want to be everywhere. Good quality content, be out there, be everywhere uh, to where when people think about healthcare, when they think about seeing a chiropractor, you're everywhere they look. You're all over Facebook, you're online, you know, you're all over Google. Um, that's what this helps you do. So just, you know, click on over to the website, uh, sign up now. There's absolutely nothing you have to lose. Yeah. And I mean, it's like I said, I mean, I, I think, uh, I think about back to the time when I was building my practice and how much time I spent, you know, on weekends. Cause I get this time, you know, docs will go time, 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 time. And I'm like, well, what are you doing this weekend? Oh, I'm going and I'm doing a screening. I'm like, well, wow. Doesn't that take time? Doesn't that take effort? And the beautiful thing about, you know, podcasts is they're evergreen. Like once you put it out there, and the reason why I get sponsorship is because it's evergreen. So if if a sponsor wants to have, you know, what other opportunity do they have to broadcast their message and it's out there for good? I mean, if it's radio, if it's television, you got 10, 20, 30 seconds and then it's gone. So this is a great way to actually be, a, again, do something one time, but repurpose it over and over and over. So it's less energy on your part and... Um, certainly less expensive. I mean, iTunes is free and it'll always be free by the way. Yeah. I mean, I really don't know what else, what else to say. You know, this, obviously we benefit if you order, but more importantly, you benefit. That's the whole reason, you know, that's the reason we each have our own podcast because we believe we care about this profession and we want to give back. And, you know, we do, we do our podcasts, they're free. There's great value there. Um, but you know, every once in a while, something like this comes up and we feel that it's very beneficial to, uh, to your practice. So we ask you to buy for you, not for us. Yep, absolutely. And like I said, you know, it's, I, I had no intention of when I launched, you know, the, the chiropractic philanthropist, you know, 12 months ago, I, I had no intention of creating a product or service um, that would help chiropractors, you know, do what we're doing or we're teaching here today. But I saw that there was a real need for this. I saw that if I can, you know, as a simple chiropractor in my basement in Edmonton, Alberta can make a difference in a profession, then you can make a difference in your community. I could teach doctors to do this. I knew I could. And, um, the unique thing about it was teaching them on a, on a way that they could do it uh, that is specific to, again, building, helping build their practice on a local basis, because that's not something that you can learn on any program. You can go, because like I said, you can go to YouTube and you can look up a lot of this information. Pat Flynn's got a free program there too. I mean, some of it's a little dated, but it could be done. The only thing is they don't teach you the specifics of how to communicate this to patients. The, you know, the missteps that I've made or the missteps that possibly, you know, you've made in the past too, we've kind of taken all of those out and made it super simple. Yeah. And there's, there's definitely a, a learning curve if you, if you don't have the education. Yeah. You know. So I'm going to end up the, I'm going to end the webinar. We got about five people still on right now, but I know docs are heading back actually to, to be, to adjusting. So I'm going to finish up the webinar. The, the button there says four minutes. So doc, if you're looking at the button and you're thinking, you know what, I got to click that button and check it out, click it now because I'm going to take off the broadcast in a second and uh, you're going to lose the button. So go ahead and actually hit the enroll button, scroll to the very bottom. It has the uh, purchase options. If you have any questions for me specifically, I'm, 
Uh, I have a couple calls I'm doing this with uh, with clients this week or this uh, afternoon. But uh, other than that, fire off uh, some questions to me. We're going to have a replay for 72 hours on this webinar. But uh, the the uh, there it's going to be tearing up in terms of the investment. So, you know, after 24 hours, it will go up a hundred bucks after that, another hundred dollars for the program. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, any closing words, what do you think, uh, before we wrap this up then Billy? I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, you know, really just to recap everything it's, you can use it to attract new patients, educate. I mean, education for this profession, it's huge. You know, you control the conversation, you educate them, uh, you can use it for reactivation. Once you do, do these, they're there. You know, you get to pick topics that resonate with you in your practice. They're evergreen. They're always there. Uh, you, you get to use it to become more of an authority in your local area. It gets more visibility for your practice, help you grow your practice. Uh, there's tons and tons and tons of benefits, way more benefits than six hundred and seventy five dollars that's for sure <laughs> no doubt and i gotta tell you i mean i get tired billy of hearing um chiropractors complain about uh not having enough strategies or ways to attract new people into their practice and we're basically sitting here for an hour talking about how you can do it yep. so yeah and or you know what again even better you know i had to move i can't even tell you i think it was over 20 boxes of files from my home office to my office so my team could archive files this this week and uh i'm pulling up all those boxes and i'm i see these names from 10 years and i remember these names i know these people and so they're all there doc we're all the same that way you could still send you know your podcast they can hear your voice reconnect with you and call you so I'm going to just uh, sign off. If that's the end of the webinar, everyone, if you have a last opportunity, go ahead, click the enroll now button. Go ahead and listen to Dr. Carey, listen to Chris Burfield. They have some vit short video to, uh, testimonials over there too. I'm available if you have any questions. But thanks so much, Billy. This has been amazing. Yeah, it's been great.